All right, so this, uh, this is more of an examination uh, rather than a tutorial. Um, but the one thing that Google Docs does give us the opportunity to do is write in a way that we weren't able to do before. Um, and so I'm just going to show a piece of writing. This is just a sample of student's writing. Um, and I'm going to show you a piece of writing, and I, I want you to take a look at it and, and think uh, about what is different about this writing and what you see. Uh, and I'm actually going to pick some professional examples, so this is not to, uh, you know, compare sentences. It's more to compare formats and the evolution of uh, writing. So here what we have is we have TechCrunch. Um, just a recent article on TechCrunch. Uh, was recently published and take a look at the writing coming from the top to the bottom of the page um, you'll see some things happening within within the writing um, now we'll go on to uh, New York Times so this is more of a probably an opinion piece um, you know technology reporting that's fine that's fine um, and this is uh, you know New York Times is going to be considered more news uh, worthy here when it comes to you know politics and whatnot. Uh, and if you take a look at this writing, what do you notice within the writing? All right, this is professional journalism, right? Um, you notice some pictures there, uh, but you do see something happening within the writing. Uh, and so, and there we are again. This is happening within, you know, two of our pr top examples of, uh, of pretty good writing that's happening on the internet. Uh, and now I'm going to go somewhere called Medium. Medium is a, a, a newer place to write. And this is um, a, an example, of, you know, somebody writing about the conservation, the water crisis. Um, and when you take a look at this writing, which I would say is probably the preeminent writing place uh, on the web right now, you not see, we're not so looking in the middle of uh, the writing here per se, although when you highlight, something happens, which is kind of cool. Um, but something's also happening on the sides of the writing. Um, as you go down and where you hover your mouse, um, there is interactivity happening, and this is a signal that something is happening there. Um, there are some some comments on this p piece of writing. Um, the way that they do, um, that we this is this particular writing sample gives you the option of, you know, creating different headers, uh, embedding quotes. Um, and doing a lot of interesting things with your uh, with your writing, uh, and then sort of getting feedback as well in a in a unique way that's different than uh, what people have done in the past or what other platforms have done in the past. Um, and then you can share, you can bookmark, you can recommend. So if uh, hopefully you've taken a look at the differences and can see that the difference is that. Um, all of the research for this article is embedded. Um, whether it comes from links for, you know, uh, other TechCrunch articles, uh, links to stuff that's happening outside. Um, in this case, TechCrunch. A lot of this is TechCrunch because they want you to come back to TechCrunch. Um, and you might see the same thing here in New York Times. They're referencing their own work. Uh, and in other good writing too, you will see them reference other people's work uh, at certain times, and that's that's fair. And then in Medium, instead of embedded links, we see quotes and comments and other things like that. So yeah, it's just a, a an evolution of you know media literacy uh, that we're seeing across the board when it comes to the platform of writing uh, on the web. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little examination and can offer your own thoughts in the comments below.